Hello everybody out there on the internet, I'm the Toaster, and today we're going to react to Ren Sickboy. Now, what to say about Ren, I loved it, I loved Hi Ren so much, it was such a unique video, it was a masterpiece, and you know, I've had gotten so much support from, you know, the community behind Ren, it, you know, I can't thank all of you enough, because you guys have made me feel so welcome, you know, you've shared information about him and his music with me, and everybody's just been so kind, and I've really appreciated it. Because of all of you, all of you, I managed to hit 100 subscribers last night. I was asleep and woke up to it, and, you know, I didn't think it happened, and definitely not happened this fast. It was only been three weeks since I made the channel, really, and I don't know, I expected maybe, you know, hitting 50 in a couple of weeks, but you know, 103 weeks, over 100 now, like 120, it's been amazing. I feel truly blessed and, you know, I appreciate everything, really, from the bottom of my heart. All the comments, all the love, all the likes, subscribers, everything. So, we are doing the official music video for Sick Boy today. I, I already know it's going to be good. Everybody's been hyping me up, telling me, this man's a genius. Now, all I know about this song in particular is that it's meant to be kind of like a prequel to High Run. So I guess it'll be a darker song, maybe. Um, maybe a bit more negative. So we're going to get into it. And I'll, you know, I'll, as I do, I pause occasionally to add comments. But I'm not going to worry about copyright. I've been told copyright isn't an issue. And if it is an issue, I can just dispute it and it'll be fine. So, you know, I'll only pause it to comment and, you know, give theories. You know, this is a reaction channel after all, so, you know, I've had a couple hate comments talking about, you know, please stop talking, swear words, you know, telling me effing stop talking, you know, stop pausing, blah, blah, blah. But it's my channel, and, you know, this is how I do it. It's a reaction channel, not a bloody music channel, I guess. So, you know, apologies. If you want the original music video, it's in the description. Watch that instead of me. Um, but I'm not changing for anybody. This is what I do. And if you like it, you like it. And I thank you if you do like it. So, pulled it up here. Enough talking. It's been a while already. Three minutes almost. Just going to get straight into it. In three, two, one. Let's kick it. Ooh, I love that. And he's making the bee out of his own gasps. Very creative already. Um, sorry for pausing so quick. Hi, Ren. Thank you for coming in today. Thanks for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious... Well, she sounds like every other therapist, really. I've had a couple of therapists, and they do sound like this. <laughs> you know, he's obviously heard it all before. The way he's acting, you know, I feel like he's like, oh, just another therapy session. And from what I've been told, he's been misdiagnosed a couple of times. Um, like people just thinking, oh, he's got depression, anxiety, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, not realizing to full extent. So, you know, he's just going to another therapy session, and this girl's telling him, Probably stuff you already knows. I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect on our biology. Essentially, your mind is making you sick. I love that bounce. Oh, the shivering sound effect, what he's doing. And then the children's chorus in the back, like the choir. Oh, it's really nice. He's really using, like, you know, I always love when artists use non-instrumental instruments. Don't think that's the right word to use, but, you know, with Joji, for example, there was a one song where he, he did the, like, the queens dropping on the ground and the breathing. And this one, it's got, you know, it had the grunts of anguish, and now it's got the shivering, it's got the the choir in the back. He's really creative, and he's got the, as always, the bleak visuals, dark, you know, rundown room, single blue light in the back, shining under him. 
just really, really nice as always. That's how it be. That is how it be. That's how it is. You know, they just give you pills. They don't give you the help you need, especially if they've misdiagnosed you. You know, he's got all these issues. And, you know, they're just treating him like another patient. But you've really got to make it personal. You've got to learn about him. And I really love that flow. I'm going back to hear that again. Sorry. Not sorry. Sick boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy. Looking for that fix boy. Anabolic steroids, damn so. Post a boy, pass out. White noise, quick fix, snake oil. I'm about to break, boy. Oh, what a shame. He's in pain. Have another go. Take another pill. Here, take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so. You'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show. Serialization, medical patient, losing patience with the process, walking hand in hand with Satan, complications with. Oh, the strings in the background are so good. They work with the kind of like unsettling aggressiveness of it. He's definitely in a darker space with this one. You know, I think, like you said, this is a prequel, so. You know, this is before he's kind of realized, you know, to separate, you know, his negative thoughts from his positive thoughts. This is purely just, you know, the system isn't doing me right. You know, he's he's forced to take the pills, deal with the side effects because they're not giving him, you know, treatment that is really working. You know, just take more pills, you'll be fine. Realization, medical patient, losing patience with the process, walking hand in hand with Satan, complications with the medication, inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation, building up a toleration, drown, stock a drown, stock a drown, stock a drown. I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground. I've been screaming, I've been shouting, but I never make a sound. I've been looking for a way out, but I always seem to drown. Is this all making sense, Randy? Um, yeah, I think so. Good. Exactly, and you know, he's got these two different. Like, I think when he stands up and he's getting more aggressive, that's kind of what he's saying in his mind. But, you know, with, when talking to a therapist, he's just kind of going, yeah, going along with it. Yeah, I think that's fine, you know. Because you try to... Mm, this might be a reach, but when you're in this position, you try to act like it's fine and you try to be a normal person so you're not, like, creeping people out, you know. It's a coping mechanism to not be yourself. And you'll be like, yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm messed up. And in reality, of it, like you just want to get up and start saying, you know, drugs aren't working. I still don't feel better. The side effects are crap. I'm getting tolerance. It's not working as good as it used to. You know, nothing's changing. I'm still bad. He's doing a good job of showing how a therapy session goes. A, way out, but I a bad therapy session. Very good therapists out there. I've had some good therapists, but you know, there are some that just don't care. Always seem to drown. Is this all making sense, Ren? Um, yeah, I think so. Good. What I propose we do is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me about your childhood? Uh, I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. What I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In and out. In and out. Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I, mm. I like how they're kind of turning around to this pig. Like, I guess it could be like a butcher. You know, she's cutting deep, could be cutting deep into him, or he just sees her as like a threat or maybe part of the problem. I'm not sure the exact meaning of the mask and the, like, the bloody costume, but that's what I'm going with, that, you know, the therapy is cutting deep and it, it feels like an attack on him and like that's not supporting him. It's kind of like more like a lab rat, really. He's being treated like a specimen rather than a human. And out. In and out. I love breathing Good. like no, that. Tell me Side note, breathing like that, deep breathing is so relaxing. I do it all the time just because I recommend it. In and out. 
Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's sick. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in. I'm not sick. We are sick. We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus, hypocrite. How can you sit there with that smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix boy. Push it down in public, quick pose for the pick boy. Record label me. Things that come on the fire, your gift boy. Why are you so upset? Don't you wanna be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is pop bro. He's really good. He's really good. Oh my god, I'm speechless again. He's saying all the facts, you know. They commoditize and they they put the medicine of a treatment behind these massive paywalls. And, you know, they just commercialize everything. Like you're even if you're you know, you need the help. Big businesses they've made it so even just getting help is you know 10 step program thousands of dollars drugs push it down in public quick pose for the pick boy record label meetings that come on the fire gift boy why you so that. upset don't you want to be a rich boy Fuck no industry is top bro I've been doing bits by myself, swimming backstroke, walking on a tightrope, rapping with a slit throat. The way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke. As the people of old, we're complacent to assailants and we do what we're told. Counterintelligence, a sight of the whole. Rape the earth of all resources and we plead it for gold. And we plead it for wealth, we plead it for fame. But when you plead it, can you tell me what the fuck will remain? And I'm bleeding myself, I bleed in my brain. While I'm bleeding, I'm the reason, cause I'm doing the same. Mm. Now, it's hard to say that he could do a song better than Hyren. Personally, for me, this song is a better song than Hyren. You know, I could listen to this and, and just jam to it better. It was a really sick beat. Everything, you know, all the lyrics are just truth. But High Ren is more of like his beautiful centerfold art piece. You know, it's it's everything you could want from an artist who's going through stuff and telling you their story and trying to get better and help other people. Whilst this one is more, you know, it's giving you what he's still going through, but it's more just sharp, in your face, aggressive, less hope. And it all just, it sounds more song-like while the other one was more poetical. So I love them both differently. I like High Ren a lot, lot, lot because it's poetry, it's his truth, it's, you know, a cry out for help, but also at the same time it's him finding his own help and such. And this one is even more cry out for help, but it's also, you know, calling out the system, you know, companies monetizing health and and therapists who don't care and you know cutthroat businesses in the music industry i don't know they're both incomparable because they're both held so high for me i love them i don't know which i like more honestly i'd have to go back and listen to them both like five times to figure it out song wise this one maybe and then message wise i'm just emotionally high run i don't know i'm kind of speechless again had a bit more to say this time because, you know, I can relate to this a bit more, um, you know, being in therapy and having people who don't care about you and, you know, being prescribed drugs and struggling on those drugs and, you know, just not getting the care you feel like you need. You just get told, do better, yeah, do some breathing exercises, okay, now take these pills, come back next week. That's the system at the moment, but... There's not much I'll change, I don't think, for a while. Hopefully it does change, but I don't think it will for a little bit. Um, you know, praying for Ren to get better and to continue on the path he's on after High Ren. You know, he seems to be getting love support and love and the help he deserves. You know, he's got a GoFundMe. I'll put it in the description, so please check that out if you want to donate to him. Um, I have and my friends are going to soon. I might do more as well, depending on, you know, when I get my next paycheck, when I get a job. I only had a bit of money to save, so it was only a small little donation, but hopefully it'll, it'll do the help it needs to do. And if I get more money, I'll try and put more in because he deserves it. He's going through a lot, and I think you know any little bit helps. 
So, you know, thanks for watching everybody. And thanks for all the support you guys have given me. I really appreciate it. You know, all the love I've been getting has outweighed the two or three negative comments and such. Um, so yeah, I, I couldn't have done this all without you. It's really heartwarming and, you know, it's opening me to so much new genres and just people that I want to talk to. So, you know, thanks. Once again, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, I'm done thanking you. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, recommendations, criticism, feedback, all down below. I'll catch you later.